Holy Yoga. This is session six of Holy Yoga. We begin each session with a time of quietness and a time of stillness. Psalms 4.4 4 says, search your hearts and be silent. So sit in a comfortable position, either in a chair or on the floor. Make sure your spine is straight and tall. Put those shoulders back and down. Lift that head toward the ceiling. It elongates the neck and elongates the spine. And just close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Trying to fill your belly full of air when you inhale before you fill your chest. Just a slow, smooth breath. Search your hearts and be silent. your hands down on the floor with your palms facing up. We're going to inhale, lifting out, elongating the body, then reach toward the ceiling, turn your wrist, exhale, letting go. Inhaling as we lift and expand the body, exhaling as we release. Inhaling peace, exhaling and release. Remembering in holy yoga, we honor our bodies. We listen to them. If something doesn't feel right, you either modify it or you just sit and breathe. We use our whole body as a tool to do what is right for the glory of God. That's Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. Let's do one more arm lift. to loosen out our neck and our shoulders. We're back to that staff position, sitting straight and tall, just kind of relaxing your hands on your knees or your thighs, and just kind of lift, lower your chin to your chest. Let it hang there. Pull your shoulders back and down. That stretches out the back of the neck. Then just slowly lift and let your head fall back as far as you're comfortable. And now bring the chin back to the chest. And then lift. And lower. And this time when you're down with your chin on your chest, we're going to roll your right ear to your right shoulder. To the back. Left ear to left shoulder, chin to chest. We're doing slow, smooth head rolls. Remembering to 
breathe. We never hold our breath. <clears throat> chin comes to your chest, reverse the motion going in the opposite direction with your head. Loosening up the neck, trying to relax those shoulders. Do one more circle. seated position. Now lift those shoulders to your ears and drop them. Lift and drop. This time when you lift, roll them back and down and forward and up. Shoulder rolls. If you hear some clicking and clacking, that's okay as long as it doesn't hurt. Don't want it to hurt. We want to loosen it up. Remembering to breathe. And now reverse the motion of the shoulder rolls. I'm kind of letting my hand slide forward and back on my thighs as I roll my shoulders. And then let's come back to seated. Lift that head toward the ceiling, shoulders back and down, good posture. And we're gonna do a seated twist. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna put it on my left knee. I'm gonna take my left hand and lift it up. And then I'm going to open out toward my left, twisting just as far as I'm comfortable and then you can plant that hand behind you. When you're twisted, you want, still want to be seated straight and tall, just twisting. To release, lift that left hand and float it back to the front. And let's twist one more time that way. Twisting out toxins. Breathing into the twist. Then lift that hand, float it back and float the left hand over to the right knee. And then lift your right hand and let's twist open to our right. And plant the hand, sitting straight and tall, lift that chin, breathe into the twist. And then lift the right hand Float it back around and twist one more time. Lift the hand and release. Coming back to seated. But we are now going to go into our tabletop position. That's on all fours on your hands and your knees if that's comfortable. You could also do this sitting in your chair. But I'm on my uh, knees. My knees are hip distance apart. My wrists are underneath my shoulders and my fingers are spread starfish style. If this hurts your wrist, you can always make a fist and uh, make that be your, the front of your table. So in tabletop, you're forming a flat surface from the top of your head to your bottom. Look down at the mat and just breathe. Should feel equal weight on your right hand and your left hand, on your right knee and your left knee, and equal weight on your hands as compared to your knees. And at your abdomen muscle. And breathe. This is tabletop. We're now going to go into cat and cow. In cat, you lower your head, you tuck your tail, you arch your back. You're looking
looking through the space between your thighs. This is cat. And then to go to cow, you do the opposite. Lift your head, lift your buttocks, sink your back. This is where you inhale and then exhale as you roll your spine to cat. Inhale as you go to cow. So continue doing your cat and cow, coordinating it with your breath. This is very good for your spine and your lower back. Do one more cat and cow. Come back to your tabletop. We are now going to do some balancing by doing spinal balance. We're in our tabletop. Find a spot on your mat, looking down at your mat. That helps you with your balance. And then lift your right arm and stretch it forward. Balancing on the tripod of your left hand and your knees. Breathe in spinal balance. Now release, we're going to the left arm. So lift that left arm and balance. And breathe, stretching that right arm, feeling the lengthening in the left side of your body. And release, we're now going to the legs. Find that spot in the ground and lift your right leg. Point that right toe and balance on your hands and your left knee. Breathing as you balance. And then release. And of course, now we go to the left, lifting the left leg. Point the toe, enact those muscles, and breathe. And release. We're now going to go to one arm at a time, then one leg at a time, if that's what you're comfortable with. Or if you feel comfortable, you can go to lifting your right arm and your left leg and balancing. And then releasing. So just do the spinal balance that works for you, whether it's one limb at a time or two limbs. breathing as we balance and strengthen. Anytime if you get tired or dizzy, just stop and just breathe. No competition, no judging. <clears throat> Let's do one more. Back to that tabletop. And then we're go going to go into a child's pose to rest. You're up. Uh, Modified child's pose is where you lay your forearms parallel and just kind of rest your head on it with your bottom in the air. The full child's pose is where you sink your bottom back to your feet, kind of lower your upper section to rest on your thighs. Try to take as little space as possible. Just breathe and relax. Relaxing and remembering 
John 14, 27 tells us, Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Breathe and relax. Now come back up to your tabletop and we're getting ready to go into downward facing dog. So I'm gonna turn my feet under. I'm gonna lift my bottom. It's an inverted V. Make adjustments. You'd like to have your head falling between your forearms. Fingers spread wide. Your uh, knees, you try to keep them straight. You're trying to have your heels pulling down toward the floor, toward the mat. And at the same time, you're lifting your bottom toward the ceiling. And breathe. Shoulders relaxed. Downward facing dog. Going into a runner stretch, and the way we do that is bend your right knee, lifting your right heel, lowering your left heel to the ground. And then do the opposite, <clears throat> lifting the left heel, lowering the right heel. So just go back and forth, runner stretch, and downward facing dog position. Go to your downward facing dog. And now I'd like for you to step your right foot forward. We're in a lunge. <clears throat> and then bring that right foot back to downward facing dog. And now step your left foot forward in that lunge. And then just bring your right foot forward until you're in a forward fold. And forward fold. It's okay if your knees are a little bent. It's okay if your hands don't make it all the way to the ground. Your forward fold may look like this, what I call a half forward fold, or on your shin. But find your forward fold. We want to release the back and just breathe in forward fold. <clears throat> to do a flowing forward fold, bend your knees, Lift your arms, doing a reverse swan dive up, and then sliding your hands down. Let's do that again. Inhale, up, sliding the hands down. This time, lift your hands up, but let's swan dive into that forward fold. Now do half forward fold. You're where your hands are either on your shin or on your thighs. Your back is flat. Knees are straight. <clears throat> Half forward fold. Now full forward fold. Bend the knees. Reverse swine dive up. And slide the hands down. And let's just drop the hands and let's Turn toward the long side of the mat, and let's relax in mountain position. Mountain position, your feet are firmly rooted into the mat. Your knees are soft, they're not locked. Once again, lift those uh, shoulders and put them back and down, bringing the chest forward, and at the stomach muscles. Your hands are just, and arms are just laying at your side. Lift that head toward the ceiling. Elongating the body. And breathe. While you're breathing, I'm gonna take a drink of water. <clears throat> Be 
sure to hydrate, especially as it's getting warmer and as you're exercising. We're going to move from mountain into cactus. I'm going to outspread my legs. My feet are at like a 45 degree angle, kind of pointing toward the corners of the mat. I'm going to bend my knees and I'm going to rotate them toward my third toe. My arms are up, elbows are bent, my palms are facing, facing forward. You should not be leaning forward. You should have equal weight on the front of your foot and the back of your foot. Cactus. Now we're going to go from cactus into moonflowers by straightening our knees, lifting our arms to the sky, and then squatting, bending, elbows and knees. Inhaling as we lift up, exhaling as we squat. You're not squatting forward, you're just bending the knees and coming down. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all ye shining stars. Psalm 148, 3. We're going to go from moonflowers into sunflowers by reaching down and scooping and lifting. Exhaling when you go down, inhaling as you lift up. Trying to make sure your knees don't roll inward. You want to try to keep them rolling outward to protect the knee. Do one more. And then just relax the hands. Try to walk the feet together, toe to toe, heel to heel, toe to toe, heel to heel, to your back and mouth. And breathe. In previous lessons, we learned Warrior One and Warrior Two. So that's what we're going to be doing now. I'm going to turn toward the short side of my mat. We're going to begin with Warrior One. Right foot forward a comfortable distance. Left foot back. Your left foot is at a 45 degree angle. And you're going to bend that right knee and you're gonna lift the arms to wherever you're comfortable. Some people like to keep them out to help with the balance. Others wanna have them straight up or even interlock the fingers with the pointy fingers pointing up. Find your warrior one. Relax the shoulders. Think about weight. Is there equal weight on your right foot and your left foot? You can straighten that right knee, but then bend it. Sink a little bit further into your warrior one. To release, just straighten that right leg, lower your arms and step forward. And let's just bend and straighten the knee. Bend and straighten the knee. <clears throat> Whatever we do on one side of the body, we do on the other. So now we're going to warrior one. 
with the left foot forward, the right foot back, bend your left knee, and find your space for your arms. Warrior one, connect the stomach muscles. Your hips and your shoulders should be looking straight ahead. Think of the lights of an automobile. That's what your shoulders and your hips should be doing, going straight ahead. Straighten that left knee and then bend it. Breathing, warrior one. Now straighten that left knee, lower your arms, and we're gonna go from warrior one into warrior two by twisting your body open toward the left. Warrior two, your hips and your shoulders are more going to the side. Your left foot is still forward. Your right foot is back at about a 45 degree angle. And you're gonna lift your arms parallel to the ground you're going to bend that left knee and then turn and look over the left middle finger. <clears throat> Relax the shoulders. Once again, thinking about the weight, equal weight on the left foot and the right foot. And breathe. You can straighten that left knee, take a breath, and then let's sink back into our warrior two a little bit further. Stretch forward with that left hand. Stretch back with the right hand. Elongating the body. Now straighten the left knee, lower your arms, <coughs> step forward, Bend and straighten, bend and straighten. And we're going to do warrior two on the other side. So my right foot's forward. I step back with my left foot. Right foot's going forward. Left foot's at a 45 degree angle. Your shoulders and your hips should be facing the left. Make adjustments with your feet. Bend your right knee. Lift your arms parallel to the ground. Look out over your right middle finger. Stretching. Lengthening. Breathing. You can straighten that right knee anytime you want to. And then sink back into it. Straighten your right knee, lower your arms, step forward with your left foot, bend and straighten, bend and straighten. And we're going to do a forward fold to a seated position. So I'm going to inhale, lifting my arms up. I'm going to hinge at the hips as I lower my arms until I come to that forward fold. Then use your hands to help you as you come down to a seated position. What we call staff pose. Your legs are out in front of you. <clears throat> You're sitting straight and tall. Shoulders back and down, chest forward. Feeling that bottom sinking solidly into the mat. Flex your toes to enact your calves and your thighs. Close your eyes and breathe. Work the abs by doing 
do and fold, which we have done in a previous lesson. I'm going to bend my knees. And you can hold on to the back of your thighs if you'd rather do that. Or you can have your arms out like this. But what we want to do is shift our weight to our upper buttocks and be able to lift our feet off the ground. You may just barely lift it off the ground, or you may have your shins parallel to the ground, your calves, excuse me, and be able to hold your arms out in your boat. Or the full boat is with the legs extended and the arms extended. Find your boat, whichever one works for you. Try to relax the shoulders as you do your boat. And then release. Your boat may not float very far off the ground, that's okay. You get stronger each time you attempt the boat. So let's attempt it again. Go back on the upper part of your buttocks, shift your weight there, and go into your boat. Don't forget to breathe. And release. We're gonna relax. We're gonna roll down and relax. So I'm scooting up a little bit on my mat. I'm grabbing hold either to behind the back of my thighs or in the front of my shins, wherever it's comfortable for you. You round your back and you try to roll back. And if you can, you roll forward. If you can't, you just kind of stay on your back and massage your back by rolling back and forth. It's called cradle rock. Wherever you are, come to your back and now roll from side to side. Now keep your knees bent. Put your hands on your belly. You want to make a circle around your belly. Your pointer finger is touching, your thumbs are touching. Put the soles of your feet together and let your legs fall open. This is called your prone butterfly. And just breathe and relax. Now bring the knees up. We're going to do the bridge. My feet are dipped a hip distance apart. My arms are laying alongside of my body. And I'm going to lift my bottom up, rolling my spine up until I come to rest on my feet and on my shoulders. To release, you tuck your tail and you roll down, trying to let your bottom be the last thing to touch. All right, let's do another bridge, inhaling up. Kind of shift your weight toward your knees once you get up. And then release by tucking the tail and rolling down. One more bridge before we relax. And if you want to, when you get up on your shoulders, you can walk your shoulders together and interlock your fingers underneath your bottom. And let's release. Roll down. And now we're gonna go into that final relaxation or corpse position. So you can leave your knees bent if that's more comfortable for you. The full corpse is where you let both legs fall to the ground, let your feet just fall open, your palms 
are facing the ceiling, your arms just a comfortable distance from your body. Relax your shoulders. Unclench your teeth. Just let everything go. Let go and let God. Roll over to your right side. Use your, bend your right elbow. Use your right arm as a pillow. <clears throat> Relax in this fetal position. One more minute. Being still and knowing that he is God. To come out of it, take your left hand, put it on the ground, use your right elbow to help yourself up, and come to our seated position. <clears throat> I'm not doing the devotionals at the end of the session as I do in regular class, but I'm going to end us, end our session with the prayer of St. Francis. It's also known as the Peace Prayer. So just close your eyes, let your hearts be still. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. Hands in Namaste position. I pray for peace and for love. Namaste. Hope to see you again.